All right, Mr. Teleferro TV, how's everybody doing out there? So this is a trade rumor, right? There is nothing set in stone, but I just want to put this out in the atmosphere right now. As of last night, as of last night, Mike Conley of the Memphis Grizzlies was in trade talks with Ricky Rubio of the Utah Jazz. And what I mean by that is the teams Memphis and Utah, they're on the phones engaging in a trade um, that would send Ricky Rubio and something else to Memphis for Mike Conley. Again, Mike's an, an all-star caliber point guard. I actually think Donovan Mitchell and Mike Conley would be pretty damn good in that backcourt. I think that'd be a nice move. And, and Mike Conley fits the Utah vibe. He could be a Utah guy. He definitely fits the Utah vibe more than he does the Memphis vibe. I'm from Memphis. Trust me, I know, right? Um, Ricky Rubio, so here's what I'm thinking, right? And I have not talked to anybody about this one. Here's what I'm thinking with the Ricky Rubio. If, this, if the Grizzlies trade for Ricky Rubio. We all know that Ricky Rubio and Marc Gasol both are from Spain. They played together on uh, their, their, to represent their country, right? Numerous times. And they're really good together, by the way. I'm thinking if the Grizzlies bring in Ricky Rubio, uh, Marc Gasol could opt out and be a free agent this summer. If they bring in Rubio, they're probably trying to keep Marc Gasol long-term. And it looks like they're trying to sell Marc Gasol on a semi-rebuild mode and at least let him have one of his closest friends on the team. Mark loves it in Memphis. If Mark had it his way, he would spend the rest of his career as a Memphis Grizz. Remember, he transferred to Los, anybody who's familiar with Memphis, he transferred to Los Angeles High School in Memphis. Uh, you know, when, when his brother Powell was there, he played, again, played playing high school ball in Memphis for him is a big deal. We don't get foreigners in Memphis like that, right? So the fact that Marcus Saul has such ties to the community in Memphis. They love him there too. He's a great guy, man. I he, I think he would like to stay in Memphis, but if he sees Mike Conley get traded, obviously it's gonna rub some feathers. Mike got a huge uh, contract still left over, right? And he's got remember Mike Conley as of a year or two ago, he was the highest paid player in the NBA, right? So they rather get off Mike's deal before Mark's. And if you're going to trade Mike Conley and try to keep Marcus Saul happy, the best thing you could do is go get one of Marcus Saul's closest friends. In my humble opinion, I believe you should trade Mark and Mike, right? I think you should just not do it 50-50. If you're going to go that route, let's go all in in full tank mode. Let's not get Mark and we'll keep Mark around and have him, you know, still out there being a good Marcus Saul that, that can win games any given night. He competes hard. I would rather go all in, but it looks like the Grizzlies are committed to going half tank mode and that was sent around a trade that was sent their uh guy all-star level point guard one of the most underrated guards in this era right and mike conley it was send him to utah and it'd be a trade package that was center around ricky rubio and i would imagine maybe a player or two um i'm sure i'm sure utah is not going to offer up Ingles or uh obviously mitchell's off the table and go bears off the table so maybe maybe Burks. I don't know. I'm just kind of guessing here. I don't know this for a fact. Uh, I, they're probably not going to even want to trade a Jay Crowder, but something along that lines of probably some trade assets, protected picks, and Ricky Rubio for Mike Conley. That is a discussion as of last night, and I will let you guys know if anything takes place from that discussion, obviously, on my platform. You just got to subscribe and stay tuned. I'm out. I came from nothing. But I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids that tuned are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV. Here with the triple B's. You can't do nothing but win.